another perch. We only had five, so that'll be a good meal for the two of us. Make some fish tacos. Uh, I got some walleye here. These ones have been in the freezer for a little bit. Just uh, got it done when we caught them because of size limits in Alberta. You have to transport it whole. So we just gutted it and it was frozen from the lake, so it's kind of been sitting in the freezer for a little bit here. That's why it's a little bit discolored. Walleye is essentially just the same as a perch. Basically, uh, fold your toro fin up, kind of come down at an angle, go down to the spine, pull it around. This one's a little different because it's already gutted. So I'll just kind of make an incision along here just to make it easier. Nothing to essentially hold it. A little bit different when there's guts in it, but we got one of them fresh fish from uh, the other day. Nice big class A, so. so yeah, just follow the spine. This it's a little bit tougher with the bones being a lot bigger than a perch. We'll follow it right down all the way to the back again. And flip it over. lead on these which is nice same thing just kind of make an incision here and just get down to your skin and then just follow it and you just have to kind of work it just like this and then peel right off the skin and uh yeah there we go got nothing left on here perfect Nice big piece, exactly the same as a perch here. So what I do, even easier, so you can see where your bones end here. I cut this right off. Right here, big boneless piece, you can chunk up whatever you wanna do with it. Make it into strips or chunks. And this piece here, same thing, just follow the back side of these bones. Just follow them right down. Here. It's really easy though, the bones are big enough, you can feel them with your knife, so if you're fighting against something, it's a bone. There's a little one here that stuck out, so it's kind of nice That's to good. not have bones in your meat, right? Even if you do, sometimes you'll get some Y bones that come back, you can, you can feel them with your finger and you can just go in and just trim them out if you need. Same thing with this piece, same as the perch. You can almost see the line right here. I'll just make an incision down. Right down. A little slippery, but kind of hold it here. There we go. Yeah. Another good sized chunk of meat. Looks like a whole perch fill. Just hold up that that Y there and show people why they're called Y bones. So this bone, this is your rib bone right here and then it has a, another bone coming off the back here. And it just makes a strip down the back. So if you were to just cut them all out, you'd have bones in all your meat, which I'm not a big fan of. I hate eating fish and getting a bone in it. It's not my favorite thing. So I make sure that I clean them. So they're boneless, especially if you have kids and older people. These people aren't a big fan of bones. Sometimes I just cut that right off so I don't have to deal with it on the second side. Just makes it easier to work with. You also got cheeks on walleye. So cheeks right here behind the eye. It's my favorite part of any fish is the, gill the cheek. The plate kind of starts right here. Basically you'll feel it soft right. It'll be a hard bone and then soft. Just work it right around. Followed up with the filet mignon of the walleye. Like this. And it's just a nice tender chunk of meat. It is the best cut, I think, too. And then once you get it kind of all the way up to the eye, you can just kind of make a cut and it just peels, just peels out with your thumb. You end up with a nice oh. little white gold medallion same thing on the other side you can 
feel the bone here, it's hard, right? So you just kind of insert your knife and just follow right along. The knife just follows it. You just kind of work it back and forth. And just be mindful of your thumb and stuff, right? You don't want to end up at the hospital. You usually want a really sharp knife for this. Yeah, just work right along it. And then you can kind of peel it back and then get inside. And just kind of keep cutting and it'll you'll see the skin. Once you see the skin, you can just peel it right out with your thumb. It just pulls right off. And there's another nice big chunk of meat. Yeah. Uh, there's also wings on walleye. Uh, we'll demonstrate that on the uh, other fish, the full fish that isn't cleaned already. Because as you can see, this one's cut wide open. So stay tuned for that one and we'll do that one in a few minutes. Right. we got another walleye here. This one was just caught the other day. Uh, still got the wire in it from uh, tagging it. It's a nice class A walleye. Caught on that black sand. Get that out of the way. So this one still has its guts and everything. So nice and slimy too. So yeah, make your incision towards the head, behind the pectoral fin, down, back in there, and then. Turn it back towards your spine. Watch your fingers. Yeah. At least the bones are... Your knife's not going to just go flying through there. I always kind of do a belly. Just follow right along, kind of on the top side of the anal bend here. It's just sometimes it's hard to get your knife to follow on, on both lines. I'll kind of do that, and then I'll come back up here and follow the top. It seems once you get to the anal vent, the spine, the ribs end here, so you can just follow the spine the whole rest of the way. So you can just kind of feel it, right? Kind of gets caught and you'll just kind of notch it. And that way you're getting maximum amount of meat. Otherwise you'll have meat clinging to the bone here. I've got a tiny bit here, but it's minor, almost see through it. Same thing as the perch and the other walleye. You'll just fold this back. Kind of come to the back here and just Cut put your knife the skin. down to the skin. And then just work along it. And it should just peel. You can, sometimes your knife will get stuck. You can pull this up and get it back in there. And we'll work, work it along. It'll just fall the skin. And then lift her up. Perfect. Not a single bit of meat on that skin. Make a wallet out of it if you want. See it. Some people do that. <laughs> Alright, I'll take your fillet here. Have this cut, like I said, right along the back of the ribs. You can also do this with perch. Just find that the fillet's so small, I kind of leave it as one piece. But this one is, that's a nice substantial chunk of boneless meat. If you wanted to bake that up, that would feed one person. And, uh, same thing, follow your top side of your rib bones and it'll just fall right down to your lie bones. Not a lot of pressure, like I said, you don't want to be cutting bones, that way you know. This is no bones, 100% meat. Another good nice chunk. And here, you can see that line again, pretty much. Just, just cut down along it. Look how easy it cuts into that meat. It's just effortlessly. And just, just kind of work it, just like the, uh, just like doing the, the skin off the, the meat part. And just slides right along those ribs. Like I said, if you're having an issue with it binding or something, just pull your knife out and kind of figure there's a little bit of a bone sticking up there but get rid of it another beautiful nice little bit filler. thinner but beautiful piece of meat there's your waist it's a nice male big male it's 53 centimeters of... nice cut into the stomach after and see what he's eating and, uh, we'll get our cheek here before we flip it over never forget the cheeks so yeah just 
your knife just falls along the bone you just kind of work it up and get your knife in there and just kind of cut up towards the eye get your thumb in and same thing it just it just peels right off the skin nice morsel there and it basically goes right up to the eye Flip it over let's get this out of the way quick and easy Up. Come on, top. Just kind of follow the bone. And then they'll just peel that out too. Nice, another mouthful of meat. And fill it this side, and then I'll show you how to do the wings here. It's a nice chunk of meat there too. So yeah, just come in behind both. Both fins, start making your cut back. Just follow your. Uh, I'll do the belly here again, just to make it easier on myself. How much do the anal want? And just follow your backbone. Here, behind you those bones. This gets a lot easier once you get to the back here, once you're out of those ribs. Mm -hmm. Knife just slides. Right along, right along the spine. And go as far back as you can, pretty much. It's a little bit of meat there, you don't want to really lose it. So yeah, nothing left here. You can hear the bones hitting my knife, so that's a good sign. Got all the meat we can off this guy. Same thing, insert your knife, push down until you hit the skin. Just slide up there a little bit, pull the knife out. Kind of keep working it. There we go. Slides right out easy. Another good chunk here, and no meat on there. Nothing left on that. Perfect. Got the bag. Now, the wings here, I'll show you quickly. So this, the wings is basically the two bottom fins here. You got a little strip connecting them, we'll cut that out. And uh, you cut it right up under the jaw here. And bring it down. And get to the back here, and you don't want this fin. Go in front of it. In front of it. Cut down. Down. I guess I this over. Do the same thing on this side. Just kind of in front of that fin. Pull this through here. So this is your wings here. So what you'll do is there's a good punch of meat. There's bones in it, obviously, and your fins. But you'll fry that up in the skillet. Bones turn, or the fins turn almost like a a chip actually like potato the, chip nice yeah, and crispy and all the way not down to the bottom but you'll be able to eat the tips lots of people do and then uh it's almost like three more cheeks of meat yeah. basically right here fancy schmancy let's see in that belly that one's Maybe done that looks pretty, pretty empty. Really empty i like to get into the belly of the fish that we catch so that we can see what they're eating and uh awesome. Not a lot. Yeah, just know a little bit more about what we're fishing for and maybe what they're eating at that time of the year. Just give you a little bit more information. Pretty empty. There's not a lot in there. So. The only thing this guy ate was Lucas's hook. Woohoo! I'll cut the meat here. Finish this job. Pull this piece there. Follow the all the ribs there, and the spine. A nice chunk. Nice in here. Come get rid of the fly bones. Obviously there's different methods of doing this. I've done it a few different ways over the years, but I find this just works. It's quick. Quick and easy. You get the best kind of for your buck. 
finds what they enjoy and how they like to do stuff. So there's definitely more than one way to skin a cat. So well, that's it. Another carcass, no waste. Into the bag. All right, until next time, folks. Tight lines and.